Hey guys, on today's video, we're gonna be updating your Mac to the latest Mac OS. So let's get started. The very first thing you guys should do is going into your system settings. Why am I saying this? Well, not only can you update it from your system settings, which by the way, you can guys can always go into the top left hand side of your screen, tap on your logo, and then system settings will be your second option. From here, yes, your update will be here. However, let's say you don't have it, or let's say you do have it. Before you do this, you should back up your Mac. So it's something called Time Machine. We can just type up here, Time Machine. And then it's something installed on all your Macs already. Just make sure to set it up with an external hard drive and make that backup. So I do have a separate video that teaches you how to set it up and all that stuff, but make sure to make that backup. So you would go up here, backup now. That's gonna back up your entire Mac. So if anything goes wrong, you guys can just load everything back into a new Mac or this Mac if you have to factory reset it because things can go wrong whenever you're doing this. So make sure to have at least 50 gigs of free space. I know that seems a lot, but it's actually not because these updates take quite a bit. And let's say you guys have the minimum amount that it tells you to have to make the update happen. Well, once it tries to install it, you might get stuck on that screen and not be able to install it because there's not enough space. So make sure to have at least 50 gigs of free space. And whenever you're looking at updates, always have double the amount that you need. So that way you're never gonna have that issue. If that ever does happen to you though, I do have a video how to fix that. However, it's a whole thing. And this time machine backup that we have will actually be an excellent backup. So first of all, make that backup happen. Once you've done that, because it's gonna back up your entire Mac, by the way, your apps, everything. Then only then, go and check out your software update. If you don't see one there, it's no big deal. What you guys have to do is just go into general. So that's your second, well, not your second option. Right down here, it's gonna be your main option, really. And then software update will be your second option. From there, you should see this. Now let's say you guys do not see this option here. Just turn on and off automatic updates. That should fix things for you. And some of you down here below, you guys will see this. This will be your update. And that's because not all Macs are compatible with the latest thing. So maybe you guys can just update up to there and you're good to go. So just press on update now. And on that, for those of you who do have a Mac that's compatible with this latest update, you should see this. You guys can just press on upgrade now. That said, I do have a video that teaches you which Macs are compatible. Now you can always try to up make this update first and then check out if you guys can update to the latest Mac OS. That could be a thing, it can happen. Now here you guys will notice that it's less than eight gigs that you guys need. However, like I said, have double, so at least 16 gigs, and 16 is never good enough. Always have 50 gigs of free space whenever you guys are making any updates. So that way, nothing will go wrong. Anyways, we're just gonna press on upgrade now. Once you press on upgrade now, just press on agree. Put in your passcode, press OK, and there you go. Just let it do its thing. So right now it's just gonna download it. After the download's done, it's just gonna restart by itself. So at this point in time, just let it be. It's gonna download, it's gonna install by itself. You will see, well, if you're staring at your screen the whole time, you will see a countdown later on. Um, that's just a countdown, 10 second countdown, and then it's gonna restart by itself. It's gonna install this latest update and you're gonna be done with it. Now, if you're doing this on an iMac, for example, do not turn it off at any point in time. If you guys are doing this on a MacBook or anything like that, don't just run it off the battery. Have it charging while you're doing any updates. All right, so your Mac should have restarted. You would have seen Apple logo, a loading bar, and then it would have been done. So let's just go into your system settings and we're gonna double check that everything went okay. You guys will notice things are different now. So right now it says installed, your Mac is up to date, so we're all done. Again, your Mac will be different, so you guys will notice that there was an update. So right away, you're gonna notice the windows are different. There's a few different things about it look-wise. And that would be it. That's it for today's video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write them in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.